Well, alright. I thought spring was here. As you know, last video, I was wearing short sleeves. It was like 75 degrees out. And today, that is not the situation. Sun's bright, it's bouncing off the snow, stabbing me in the eye sockets, but at least the sun's shining. And actually a lot of this snow is gonna melt at the end of the today and tomorrow. But today we're selling my calves. I gotta look back at my records, see when we bought it. I think when we bought them, I think they were I think it was in like July. But my calves are over at Jeff's, we're gonna load them up, and then there's also some of dad's in there, so we're gonna split those and bring them here. In this video, we're gonna show you how much I paid for them, how much we sold them for, and then factor in cost of feeding per day and see if we made a good profit or not. I think it'll be interesting for a lot of you guys and even farmers that buy and sell calves a lot, just seeing how we did. I guess Mother Nature thought they were giving it to us too easy so they had to put us back in our place. We actually haven't had a single calf in two days which is nice because then they weren't born in this crappy weather. Need the four wheel drive. The geese are saying, what is this BS? I'm in the same boat. Actually, you're flying, but you know what I mean. Somebody mentioned fish sticks. They were eating fish sticks in here and watching you drink that milk, milk and eat that cereal. Uh -huh. And it reminded me a story. Uh, did I ever tell you about the time I was about your age and I had a few too many bush lattes the night before and it was summertime and it was hot and we got up early and we cultivated in the heat it I was miserable hadn't had much sleep drank too much and uh, came home for dinner and mom had made fish sticks and I bit into the first fish stick and it ta tasted like road ditches smell when they've had water sitting in them for about four months, you know, just rotten. Uh -huh. And so I pretty much didn't have any fish for the next two decades. And that's all I got to say about that. That explains a lot. Yeah. We can go ice fishing in Lake Sunny. Time to sell some cattles. Tangle them up first. Okay. What do we do with them first? Wrangle them. Wrangle up some cattles. Mm. Then sell them. Right out. Yeah, I brought sunglasses. I might have. There you go. Yeah! This Brian Sunny signature sunglasses. How's that? I don't know, that's just kind of your style right there. Is it? Tiny little eyes and a great big head? Is that my style? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I sure do hope these load better than uh, Jeff's, Jeff's the critters day. the other day. They were slow and friendly. Oh my gosh. Circling the wrong way. I didn't think we were going to get them in. Yeah, there was a time there where I thought maybe. You're going to have to just retire or <laughs> leave them there. I thought it was a power line. I think it was snow. Oh my gosh. I thought we were about to die. I thought we were going to get electric. Holy here. Moses. We were driving it under. It looked like a line. Well, what fooled me was the fact that a car pulled over. Yeah, like they saw it coming or something. And then all of a sudden this line fell down. And it looked like the power line, but we drove right over it. It might have been just the whole well, snow fell off the whole thing at once. If it was the bottom line, that's just the ground anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I have it, no. It didn't. How could that be the the ice? That the all the ice fell down at one time? But it wasn't that bad to where you would think that the power line would right. be. Holy crap. I suppose it could be ice because it's melting off right now. Gosh, but just that the, looked like a power line. That could have been the end of sunny frames. Yeah, no more sunny frames. Yeah. Would have been sunny fried. <laughs> sunny fried chicken. Oh my gosh. Well, and we're still rolling. Unless we're dead right now, who knows? Too bad we didn't get footage of that. Son I know. Of that. That would have been cool. I'll tell you what. You 
the timing couldn't have been worse for us. It was like, here it comes and we're on ice and it's coming. That was nuts. I guess we'll drive back by it and see if it was a power line. We'll drive back over it and see yeah. if we see it. <laughs> How's it coming? All righty. Snow in the trailer. You want to have a tag? It does. Okay, good. Yep. Yep. Hey, 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 hey. We're good. We're good. Oh, no. Hold this. Oh. There's my earlings. Yeah. Hey. One more. Yep. 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 Go ahead. Mine split off from Dad's. And we're actually going to pour dads before we take them back home because they haven't been poured this winter yet. They've been doing good though. Come on. Hey. 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 Here we go again. Hey. 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 Go. Our dads, we're gonna take them home, drop them off, come back, start loading up my calves, take them to town. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab that tractor. Yeah. Okay. It looks like all the wires are still around. Uh, one, two, three, yeah. Just happened to be the whole thing of ice came down. And we thought we were gonna die, but we didn't. So we got that going for us today. Yeah. Just, just got iced. Ice, ice, baby. Get that song in your head all day. Ice, ice, baby. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> It'll stick. There's gonna be people saying, how'd you do that? Now I've been humming that song all day. You're welcome. Thumbs up with the th glove. Yeah. So how's the cattle market today? I think people think I'm crazy. Probably, how's the cattle market? I don't know. Have a look, I'm not selling. No. You don't get text messages? No. No. I do, but just for grains. No. I should have had cattle on there too, but I didn't think of it at the time. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just sell and see what happens then. Well, grain's down, so you think it, cattle shouldn't be too bad. All right, we'll go with that. Yeah. Man, we get one snow and they can't get anywhere. Dang, you're perfect, Paul. <laughs> No Clavin. Hold my tail up. Tail. Okay. You got goo. She got goo. Got the goo. That one coughed and poop came out of it. What? She coughed and poop came out of the other end. Oh, I have that trouble from time to time. Huh. Are you ready to go to town with your cat? Yeah. Do you have money? No. To buy dinner? I don't. You know, it's customary. That the guy selling cattle buys, pays? Buys, yeah. Mm. So, uh, I'll, I'll get it next time, I guess. A year from now when I'm selling cattle again? <laughs> you better believe it. I'll bring my checkbook and wallet. Isn't this typical, people? Dad buys. Wouldn't have it any other way. Yep, there we go. Yep, yep. Hey, yep. hey, keep going. Yep. Hey, yep. Hey. yep. Jeff, did you have any trouble pulling out? No? Let's see if we can get out of here. There's Justin Crow's dad. Mm. There's a lot of people. There are a lot of people. Hopefully a lot of buyers. Yeah, maybe they're all sellers. Maybe there's no buyers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Something like a good old nervous day of selling cattle, buddy. Yeah, I guess if it don't work out, I'll just have to get a town job. You'll be by yourself. I had an old, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I had an old neighbor that retired now, Bill Schlund, and he always used to say that selling cattle was his worst day of the year because mm. he just, just a bundle of nerves when they were selling. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's make or break for a lot of people out there. Well, there's, you know, some people, most of what they do is raise feed for their cattle and feed their cattle and live off what they sell their cattle for so yeah we're selling at the mitchell sale barn today pretty much sell everything here in mitchell but um platt a week ago had a good replacement heifer sale 
and I'm really good friends with Brad, the auctioneer there. I try to do some business there. I've, I sell bread cows there too, so. But anyway, I talked to him and he thought there was some interest and we took those 80 head down there yesterday and they sold okay. Mm -hmm. They did good. They weren't quite as heavy as I had hoped, but that's not anything to do with how they did at the sale barn. They sold good, so I was well pleased. This is our local barn here. It's 25 miles away. Platt's about 70, so it's a drive through unload, which is really saves time. Mm, drive through. I could go for one of them. We're gonna. Heck yeah. Noticed uh, there's a sign that says no phones, no cameras, so I'd like to formally apologize to the livestock sale auction, sale barn. Uh, I took I took video. So does that mean you're gonna delete it? Um <laughs> sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Where do you want to eat? Where it's easier eat? to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, so maybe you should have waited until after you did it and then just say, Oops. I, did I do that? Yeah. Is this thing on? I'm sitting in the parking lot of Jimmy John's because Cole's cleaner than me. His boots aren't quite so crappy. He's getting us each a sandwich. We like the number 11 with bacon, I believe. We had bacon. I don't really have a lot to say, but I gotta talk, because that's what I do. Give you a thumbs up, tell you that's how I roll. Tell you, did I ever tell you about the time, but I don't have a story to go with it. All the things that I say, I just, I talk too much, and people get tired of it. But you guys like it, so you're my new friends. I haven't burned you out yet. I just love those stretchy pants the girls wear now. They're so cute. Her boyfriend's looking at me, glaring at me, tapping on the car. He's not happy. So anyway, um, sorry about that. I don't know what Cole's gonna bring me. He took all my money out of the billfold. I had $36, so I'm pretty much broke. I'd like to go through the drive up at the bank and get some cash, but I got the trailer on, so I'm probably not gonna mess with that today. Is this too close? Is that better? Or this? Hello. Okay, peace out. I'm gone. I'm gone. And that looks real bumpy. Oh, yeah. Pow. It went pa, pa. Could you say pow? Ooh. Ooh. I got some of this. Okay. Licky. We've had two complete rounds of vaccination. The heifers are guaranteed open. You got 39 hit. Cole Sunny up here north of Mount Vernon, South Dakota. Nice cow, Cole Sunny. Got 19 in the ring, gonna be 767. Nice. Hey. You gotta watch that. I'll tell you what, they got more damn John Deere trash person you can shake a stick at, but he's got a quick deal on the YouTube channel, so feel free to watch that sometime. Thank you, Cole Sunny. Put your thinking caps on here. We got some math. Today I sold a total of 39 critters, 27 of them were steers, 12 were heifers, but 16 of these steers I bought, okay? They weren't home raised, and so that math is going to be a lot easier. And I'm also taking the top cut, the ones we made the most money on. And so we're starting here, the 16 steers, the highest weight, they sold at $1,084 a head. Now, we paid $800 a head for those things, so that's... $284 increase, all right? We had these things in grass, and actually Dad let me run them there for free, but at that time we were feeding them corn. And so for those 126 days, we spent $27 a head total, and so that brings us down to 257 Well, then at this time, we moved them into the feedlot. They were in the feedlot for 110 days, and it was about we factored about $1.90 per head per day that we were feeding them. So it cost us $210 to feed those critters. That brings us down to a profit of $47 per head. Now if we look over here, not factored in, vet supplies, vaccines and stuff. Dad paid for it. Dad paid for it. All right. Now I make a living on the farm. You know, he, yeah, he, yeah okay. That's just a whole nother. Con that's a whole nother conversation. But that's about twelve to fifteen dollars a head. You know, vaccines and implants, and if one gets sick, give it a shot. And then depreciation on equipment. My spelling is bad, so I abbreviated. 
So depreciation on equipment, who knows? Gas, bringing them from pasture to pasture. Dad paid for it. And bringing them to town, you're not helping. Also commission, that's gonna be about $15 a head. More than that there. All right. <laughs> so, you know, right here we said made $47 a head after 236 days. Taking that times the 16 and not factoring in all this, we made $752. Divide job, that, yeah, yeah for, for, for those 16. Divide that by how long we had them. I was making $3.18 a day. For the whole 16 head? For those 16 head. And that's without all these factored in. So with all that put together, I would say it was about a wash, except my knees probably. The depreciation or the wear and tear on my knees. Didn't we drive over there every day and give them corn? We drove <laughs> over there every day to give them corn. So in this case, I would say, without my dad paying for everything, which is how and I get paid. He doesn't pay me that much money. He pays me in his feed, and it's roundabout. It's that would take a lot of explaining. But anyway, if you're happy. I'm happy. At the end of the day, dad lost money on my cattle. So that brings us back to here. That's how much you made on the cattle per head because mm -hmm. I paid the expense. Exactly. So I I personally did make $284 per head, but that's just because dad paid for everything. And once but again, that for exactly. Right. All right. <clears throat> now, I get, I, get, I pay packer, him in labor. The packer, when they're finished, makes about twice that to take the hide off and cut them up in, in like... A few minutes mm -hmm. and we work our tail off for 236 days and I would probably lost money so but that reminds me of a story there was a guy that the market was bad and it was depression times and guy sent a bunch of sheep to Chicago on the train mm -hmm. by rail and he waited a while and he got a letter back from the packing company and said you got less for your sheep than what the shipping cost to get them there. You owe us $210. And the farmer wrote back and he said, I don't have $210, but I can send you some more sheep. Hmm. That's funny. That's kind of discouraging to look at. Yeah, well, I mean, you win some, you lose some. Imagine so. if I had to pay for all those inputs. Yeah, but you know the nice thing about that is if you make a buttload of money the first couple times you do it, you think you know what you're doing, and then you go, well, I'm going to buy 5,000 head, and then something like this happens. So when you start and you realize that it's not always that great, you learn a valuable lesson. And you didn't lose money. You lost some labor because you worked for me, and I paid for some stuff. But you learned a valuable lesson that feeding cattle is not necessarily all that great. And we live to play another day. To end on a happy note. Live to play another day. That's from Waterboy. With all the, with those 27 steers and those 12 heifers, I am getting a check. This is before commission for $38,525. And that's because a big chunk of the biggest chunk of the critters was home raised. And that'd take a lot more math. Get a check for almost $40,000. But these 16... It was either a wash. Or now my goal is to talk him into buying something that I want and convince him that he wants it. So then we have something nice to use. You're standing right there. Yeah, but I gotta I gotta pay another eight hundred dollars for more calves so I can lose money on them next year. Well, we can we can arrange that. Yeah. All right. So, I was one head short over there. You could just give me that eight hundred. And that's another thing. One critter dies, and that's one one thousand dollar eighty four critter yeah. that you're that's just it's been kind of this way for the last three or four years it hasn't been good at all it's hard to make money when they all stay alive but things die but keep this in mind guys on you got paid for your hay and your corn mm -hmm. now we raise the hay and corn instead of just selling it we put it through cattle we got paid for them but we had the potential to make even more so as long as you're getting paid for your feed and your your original investment. That's a good point. So we raise crops, of course, with less that it, the inputs cost less than what we can sell it for. And so adding value to our feed through cattle. 
sometimes not as much as we'd like. But at the same time, mm -hmm. we probably could have just sold all that hay, yeah. not made silage, sold it as corn, made more money, and worked a lot less yeah. hard. Have you checked the cows yet? I checked them like 20 minutes ago. I'll check them again. If I'm not mistaken, though, when we were buying these calves, the market was stronger than it currently is today, right? <laughs> yeah, or otherwise we wouldn't have paid that much. Money. Yeah, so if it would have went the other way, say the market would have gone up since we bought them, then we would have made some money. So many factors. and sometimes... Here's what I say about it. It's so doggone much fun. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Hmm. It's not easy. So we're lucky. We can do it every day. We get to be the ones that gets to do this stuff. And if it was easy, everybody would do it, but they don't get to. Yeah, not everybody can have their dad pay for all their inputs. My dad did it to get me started. Mm -hmm. If you think you're going to get started without somebody giving you a hand up, it ain't going to happen. It doesn't have to be your dad. It can be an old retired guy down the road or whatever, but you got to have somebody to help you get going. Sometimes you just need a small loan of a million dollars. Flip side corn's worth something. I ain't got none of that. <laughs> Let's go in the building. Oh my Lanta, pal, you're not helping me out. Let's go, come on. Your mama is staring at me real angry like. Oh, why don't you wanna go in there? <sighs> oh, I hope that was interesting. Maybe you learned something. Other than that, we're just calving out here. Things are warmish and wet. Calving for the next week or so is probably going to be kind of tough. A little bit more than a month, we'll be doing field work. So be looking for that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Hmm. Sounds like we're claving in there. Oh. I thought we were claving, but you're just, you're claving. I think if we put a small screw in each one of these and a chain between, this could really come in handy. I think I'd call them nunchucks. Okay. That's all I got to say about that.